Gentlemen, I was so excited to see season three of The Young Justice because Young Justice to me was one of the best cartoons on Cartoon Network in years. Netflix was picking it up for a third season and in the third season we have some returning characters like Superboy, um, Martian, Manhunter's uh, niece I believe who is Miss Martian and um, you know Nightwing. So I was looking forward to seeing this but they decided to push their agenda in this show and when they push an agenda of interracial dating I can't stand it. Now, it's one thing to say interracial dating with an alien and another alien. Okay, that's one thing. But I'm talking about interracial dating in our time, black and white. So what I mean is, I'm going to tell you right now. You have a character called Halo, which you see right here. She is a white woman, clearly with blonde hair. Her love interest is Geo Force, who is this guy right here, okay? Now, you would think that since they are focusing on the outsiders in this particular season who are being mentored by Superboy, Nightwing, and Miss Martian, that we would see, okay, that we would see the same type of characters on screen that we saw in the comic books. Not change them, not change their race or anything, but they decide to do that and make Halo a black woman, a black female. I mean, that's one thing, but we know that Geo Force is supposed to be her love interest. Come on, the, the, the interracial agenda once again in this show. Being put in a show that I wanted to see so badly... Why do they have to keep forcing this shit down our throats? They put it in our video games, they put it in our movies, our television ads, television series, soap operas. I mean, this interracial agenda is out of hand. Like I told people before, it's not hatred. I'm telling you that when I was younger, they didn't have this agenda. Black people were black people, white people were white people. If somehow we had a show that had a black woman with a white man or a black man with a white woman, it just happened. But it wasn't every fucking minute. And it wasn't being pushed down our throats like it's being pushed down our throats every minute now. The way that we stop this, people, is by not supporting shit like this. We got people literally out here supporting interracial dating when they see the madness that is going on in this world. And I'm talking about black women and white men alike. And it doesn't make any sense. You got children growing up now that have black mothers or black fathers who are dating outside their communities, okay? And they're thinking, oh, if, if their father's black and they're a black girl, she must not be good enough because my father chose a woman that is not black. And then the black boys think that he should choose a woman who's non-black because his father chose a, a non-black woman. Or the mother is with a white man, so the little girl thinks that she should be with a white man when she grows up. Why does this agenda have to continue to be pushed, especially in our cartoons, our games? Come on, man. I want to have fun and enjoy the story and watch the development of the characters like I did over the first two seasons. This other shit does not have to be. It doesn't upset you that Gabrielle is dead? Strangely, no. I suppose it's because you are the only you I've ever known. <laughs> Besides. I tell you, man, this... I'm, I'm so tired of it. Now, either she's black or she's Middle Eastern, Arab, whatever. I don't know, but... I'm just tired of the agenda. I'm tired of the interracial agenda. It doesn't need to be in shows at all. We just want to enjoy a show. We don't have to have all this SJW nonsense pushed down our throats. That's the reason why Captain Marvel didn't do good with a lot of audiences. Because nobody wanted to have the agenda pushed down their fucking throats. It's just insane at this point. And like I said, they decided to make the character who was white... A black woman now, or a woman of color, okay? If you want to be very technical about it. Knowing that this man is her love interest. And they kept him the same way. Didn't change him, but they made sure they changed her and made her a dark-skinned woman, okay? This is ridiculous. This should not be in my shows. This agenda should not be in anything that people are watching at all. It should be a natural thing. You cannot tell me this is not an agenda because, like I said, I've never seen anything like this before. And I've seen it way too often now of black women and white men being paired up all the time. And it sickens me to my core just like it sickens me when I see black men and white women paired up all the time. It's not about hatred. All I'm simply doing is pointing out that we are seeing this too much and it's annoying at this point. And I'm really sick and tired of it. I want to enjoy a superhero show for what it is. I want to enjoy the story for what it is. I don't need to see this agenda being pushed down my throat. That's all I'm trying to say. Once again, right up there, you have Halo and you have Geoforce, who you just saw. But 
the halo you saw was not this particular one. She was a different type of woman. Okay? This is just ridiculous, and I'm so, so tired of it. Enough is enough. So, unfortunately, I won't be watching season three. They just ruined everything for me. I don't want to watch anymore because I don't want to see an agenda pushed down my throat. I just want to enjoy a show. And I can't enjoy a show when they do stuff like this. It just doesn't make it enjoyable at all. It makes it really hard to watch, and I'm not going to look at it. I'm not going to support it. Anyway, I'm just sharing my thoughts on this, and that's all I got to say. I'll talk to you next time.